as far back as United Airlines at the turn of the century to GameStop and AMC more recently, the practice of naked shorting has wiped out the savings of many hardworking Americans. Up from the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm going to take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood in my tongue. What's up, everybody? It's the Conversation of Investor coming at you with another video and a question Adam where are you did you hear that man that's the CEO of CRTD and some other CEOs that have gotten together and they're addressing the naked short problem in their company and this man the CEO of CRTD had to address the naked short selling of AMC and the effects that it's having in our portfolio and how we've been robbed of just the amount is insane. But the question is, all these yes tubers that are putting out these videos, and I've seen that video, the music video, I found it disgusting that you could mock retail investors like that. That's a whole nother story though. But Another CEO has to address the naked short selling of AMC because Adam Aaron continues to remain silent. Oh, wait a minute. He did speak on that. He said it doesn't exist. Enough said. Let you end this out with hearing the rest of this man's speech. I appreciate investing with uh, our two who put it up there as a short and AMC to the moon on Twitter. For posting it. Let's hear what the rest of what he had to say. It has destroyed their, their pensions and eliminated their jobs. From pilots to bag handlers to grocers, technologists, and scientists working on life-saving medications, as you've heard about today from biotech companies. Naked short selling creates a deteriorating financing capability for the underlying company, and it helps drive the toxic lending environment that dominates the microcap space. And who pays the price? Unchecked, it can be a death sentence for a company. Irrespective of the company's intrinsic value, I know it nearly killed my company. Here we are on the verge of 2023, and still no one in authority has fully addressed the issue.